Let's say you're trying to get an agent to help you pursue your acting career. Some people think that getting an agent is like getting a pizza. You just walk into the pizza shop, order the pizza, and they'll make it right there. So is getting an agent like walking into the agency's office, asking for representation, and they'll sign you right there on the spot? Unfortunately, it's not that simple. Getting an agent is much more like applying for admission to college, and not just any college, a very selective college that's hard to get into, like Harvard, for instance. Every year, thousands and thousands of students apply for admission to Harvard, and every year, only a very small percentage of them, like less than 5%, get admitted. Similarly, thousands and thousands of actors submit themselves to talent agencies, and only a very small percentage get signed and get representation. So what can you do to increase your chances of being in that small percentage that gets signed and gets representation? What exactly are those agents looking for and what can you do to stand out from the crowd? Let's discuss. What's up, my fellow actors? Welcome to the Acting Career Center, here to help you learn the skills you need to break into the film and television industry. My name is Kurt Yu. Thank you so much for spending some time here with me today. If this is your first time here, make sure to subscribe to this channel to get more videos on acting, auditioning, and career advice every single week. Today, we're talking about how to get an agent for acting, specifically, what exactly are agents looking for and what can you do to stand out from the crowd to help you get signed by an agent? So let's get right to it. Agents are looking for people who are serious about pursuing acting, who are willing to work as hard as they can and willing to do everything it takes to succeed. Agents are they're running a business and they're trying to make money. They don't have time to waste on actors who are not going to put in the work. And I know exactly what every single actor is going to say. Every single actor who submits to an agent is going to say the same thing. They're going to say, yes, I'm going to put in the work. Yes, I'm willing to work hard. Yes, I really want to be an actor and I'm serious about it and I'm really good. And, and if you sign me, you won't regret it. They're all going to say that. So, how do they know who to pick if everybody's saying the same thing? How can you stand out from the crowd if everybody is telling them that? Here's my suggestion. Actions speak louder than words. Don't tell them that you're going to work hard. Show them. Don't tell them that you're going to take this seriously. Show them. How? Well, the best way to show them that you will take this seriously and that you will work hard is to prove to them that you already have been taking this seriously and that you already have been working hard. That's backing up your words with proof. So here are three ways to prove to them that you are committed. The first way to prove to an agent that you're going to take this seriously is to take acting classes. What better way to show them that you are going to work hard than to actually be working hard in acting classes right now? That's how you stand out from the crowd. That's how you show them that you are committed to working on your craft and becoming the best actor that you can possibly be. My own agent has said that when she gets a new actor submission, she looks at what classes they are taking. This is really important. We mentioned earlier that only a very small percentage of actors who submit to an agent actually end up getting signed and getting representation. Now I guarantee you that every single one of those actors in that small percentage has been taking acting classes. It is that important. Now there are so many different types of classes that you can be taking to improve yourself as an actor. Technique classes, improv, scene study, voice and movement, accents, and don't forget audition classes. If you have an opportunity to take an audition class, I highly, highly recommend it. Because when you submit to an agent and they're interested, they will very likely ask you to audition for them. So you better know what you're doing when you're auditioning. You better be very skilled at auditioning. Now, if you're interested in learning about how I approach my own personal auditions, the 10-step audition preparation process that I use to make sure every single audition is memorable, then I've created a free audition cheat sheet that you can download by going to that link right up there, or I put a link down in the description below. So one more time, make sure you are taking acting classes so that you will stand out when submitting to an agent. The second way to prove to an agent that you are taking this seriously is to submit a professional headshot. 
Look, every single agent, when you submit to them, they're gonna ask for a headshot. So you gotta make sure your headshot is a professional one taken by a professional headshot photographer. And yes, I get it, headshots cost money. They cost a lot of money. They cost sometimes two, three, four, five hundred dollars I know some actors that have paid over a thousand dollars for headshots. But guess what? This is the cost of doing business as an actor. This is no different than someone trying to become an accountant. That person will need to take a certification exam, sometimes multiple certification exams, and those cost hundreds of dollars, sometimes over a thousand dollars. But that's what it takes to become a professional accountant, and this is what it takes to become a professional actor. You gotta understand that if you're trying to get an agent, that means you're trying to pursue acting professionally. So that's what you need. Think about this. If you needed to see a doctor, let's say a, a specialist like a dermatologist, and you got two recommendations, and one doctor gives you their business card, and it's a real business card, and it's got their website and their phone number and everything, and the second doctor doesn't have a card, doesn't have a website, and all they did was they wrote their phone number down on the back of a McDonald's receipt. Which doctor are you gonna take more seriously? Which doctor are you gonna regard as more professional? Now, it may very well be that the McDonald's receipt guy is the better doctor, but professionalism matters. Presentation matters. Your marketing matters. That shows people how much you're taking your career seriously. And look, even if you did magically get signed to an agent without a professional headshot, you know what they're gonna tell you immediately after signing you? Go get professional headshots because agents need a professional headshot of you to submit you to casting directors. So having a professional headshot not only shows agents that you are taking your career seriously, but it also shows them that you understand how this industry works and that a headshot is an actor's business card and you want your business card to stand out from the crowd. The third way to show agents that you are serious about this as your career is to have credits on your resume. Now I know what you're gonna say, how can I have credits on my resume if I never had an agent to help me get those credits? Well, I'm not talking about big Hollywood movie credits right now. I'm talking about the types of credits that you can get on your own, which are student films, short films, web series, plays, community theater, these types of things. These types of things still go on your resume and they show that you are taking initiative. It shows that you are working hard towards your own career. Because doing these things not only add credits to your resume, but they also can give you an opportunity to network and they could potentially add footage to your demo reel. This is how you prove to an agent that you are already working hard. Because the truth is, you're still gonna have to work just as hard even after you do get an agent. An agent only makes a 10% commission off of your union bookings. That means 90% of the work is still on your shoulders in building your career. What's that 90%? Well, that is acting classes. That is your headshot and your resume and all of your marketing materials. That is your networking. That's doing all the types of projects that you can find on your own. All of that work is the 90%. This is the type of work that an actor needs to be doing whether they have an agent or not. And if you can show an agent that you are already doing the work, then they will have more confidence in you because you're standing out from the crowd and they will be more likely to sign you. So those were three ways to show an agent that you are taking your career seriously. The last thing I wanna say on this topic is that you could do all of those things that we just talked about and it's possible that an agent still doesn't sign you. And the reason is, is that there are certain factors that are out of our control as actors. For instance, it's possible that the agent you're submitting to simply isn't looking for someone in your category at the moment. Agents are trying to represent a diverse roster of actors of all ages, of all ethnicities, of all shapes and sizes, and it's possible that they simply have too many people in your category at that time. Or they might be looking for just male actors at the moment, or just female actors at the moment. These are things that are outside of our control as actors. Look, it's difficult to get an agent. It's really hard. We talked about it in the beginning. It is a very, very competitive industry. It's like trying to get admission to Harvard. So don't get down on yourself if you don't get an agent right away. Keep pushing forward and keep working hard and eventually the timing will work out for you. There is a little bit of luck to this, but like they say, luck is when opportunity meets preparation and you never know when that opportunity is gonna come, so you better be prepared all the time.
All right, that's it for this video. Remember to download my free audition cheat sheet if you haven't already. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Until next time, keep practicing, keep learning, and I can't wait to see you on set one day.